Hey Cancer, welcome to your November reading for love and career. We're going to be getting messages out of the tarot for career first and then we'll be moving on to love. Um, these cards have already been pre-shuffled with your energy. If this uh, resonates, consider hitting the like button, consider subscribing. It's a pretty new channel, so every one of you guys totally count and make me feel wonderful. Please feel free to comment. I love to respond. And... Um, and uh, if it does not resonate, consider checking out your moon sign. But don't try to make it fit if it doesn't fit. All right, loveys. So, Cancer, career, and money. You take only the cards that choose to fly out. If they fly out in reverse, then we read them that way. Out of the deck, we've got the Magician so far. And with the Magician, we have the Star card in reverse. So, I feel that... In my head, I hear I feel I hear the like the words on the down low, <laughs> um, but you're creating something. You're creating something from scratch, something brand new. For some of you guys, it's starting a new business. For others of you, it could be just a new position or developing something new, an idea. Um, and this is basically, you want more money. <laughs> you want. You want to flourish, you know. The Five of Pentacles, when it comes out, is talking about the sense of lack. And so I feel that some of you guys are just fed up with how the lack of a return and what you're investing in. And so that's why you're think, considering starting something new with this manifesting energy. So a lot of you guys are working on manifesting something in the long term, and that's our 10 of pentacles. So this is big picture stuff. It might be worth being uncomfortable in the present in order to um, have something beautiful and stable in the long term. And so that very much feels like a lot of you guys are considering starting a side business or a new business. Clarity on this ace, uh, excuse me, this magician. This is working with others. You might be working with collaborators and just considering it. The three is always in tarot introduced the entity and a third entity or the, uh, um, the presence of somebody else. So it's a reminder that you don't have to do this by yourself. And sometimes two heads are better than one type of thing. All right. Anything else about that magician energy? I love the magician. It's like you are manifesting powers. Currently cancer are on point. So that's what the magician means. I feel that a lot of you guys are going, are literally manifesting a business partner or a collaborator, manifesting clients. So you kind of get the idea with a third, that third party energy, third party in a good way. We have the Knight of Swords coming in. This is definitely somebody coming in quickly. So you're manifesting very quickly. Somebody who um, is enthusiastic, intelligent, might be a bit more of a novice uh, at this than you. And inside that lies their vulnerability. So they have the energy, they have the enthusiasm, and it's just important not to act on impulse. And I'm, I'm speaking kind of to them. Um, for a few of you guys, that is your energy. Just make sure that you don't jump the gun. Um, don't take the first, you're manifesting heavily, but consider seeing who else and what else manifests before you just grab the first thing, if that makes any sense. All right. And again, we have this um, Knight of Wands with the Anxiety card. I want a little bit more out on that. This is a fire sign, Hermit. Um, I do feel like this is uh, an experience with an individual that didn't quite work out. And so you're kind of hitting the, um, you're back at the canvas. You know, you're, you're, you've slowed down. You're trying to quiet your energy, find your intuition and whatever, whoever this individual was, it could be a fire sign, but it's, um, it, it led you, I'll say characteristics of this individual, because some of you guys might re might identify with it, but the characteristics are the visionary, very, again, that, that real intense energy movement forward, fast moving, um, ambitious, whatever this energy was, whether it's yours or somebody else's, it gave you anxiety um, and it, it knocked you off your path. 
So I do kind of feel like it was somebody else. And I think that you're right back at the drawing board. You're starting over. You're getting back in tune with what you want, what you're trying to manifest, how, how you envision this long-term wealth and stability, not somebody else's vision. Um, that's what that looks like. And so all, all that's well and good. It's all working out. It's on its way. And you're manifesting a new partner. You're manifesting somebody that you work well with. Um, yeah, whatever this uh, other partnership was, there was a choice you had to make. And I think you chose to um, go it alone rather than sacrifice your vision. For our cancers, anything else on that? Yeah, it just wasn't going to reap any rewards. You know, this came out um, in reverse. The lover's card came out in reverse um, with the five, in, in clarity of the five of pentacles, this place of scarcity. Yeah. So I think you were, you were correct in going back to the drawing board. Let's see how many times I say that, but it's just, it really has that energy of, mm, I'm not going to compromise. No, I'm really throwing everything I got at this and I'm not going to get, you got knocked off your path a little bit and it did, you caught it quickly, which is really great. Um, and so you're getting back on the path and you're re-envisioning what you want that that future to look like in your work, in your business. Any clarity for the 10 of pentacles? I knit and intuition. Yeah, it's all about, you've got intuition, intuition popping up here. This is really great. This is basically tarot saying you're doing exactly what you should be doing. You did exactly what you should have. Any advice from tarot in regards to money and career for our cancers? They can benefit from... Uh, we've gotten kind of a picture of which cancers we're talking to, and we've got three cards that have flown out. Putting an end to an old exhausting chapter. So take a quick check what has been kind of dragging your energy, what feels like you could really button it up if you just allowed yourself, what feels like, you know, it might be a project, it might be a relationship, but whatever it is, it's wrapping it up. Um, it could be... Um, another company that you're working with, whatever it is that's dragging your energy. We do have this like good times are ahead. And again, that that's that third entity energy, that other person that's joining. So this is um, friends, coworkers, playmates, but this is a really positive card. You're going to be very, very happy that you did not compromise, but it definitely, Tarot is just definitely saying that if you want to hit this place of happiness and, um, really being in line with those around you, there's an end to this chapter. You need to put down this big bundle of sticks, this obligation, whatever, this energy that has been dragging you. And I, I can feel that a lot of you guys are like, I know, I know, it's on its way. It's on, it's almost wrapped up. But, so I feel like I'm preaching to the choir a little bit. You guys know, if this is resonating, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Patience. So something is changing that's, the bigger picture is that there's some alchemy going on. This is temperance, Sagittarius energy with the four of swords. Please allow it just to brew. Like there's a lot of magic happening that you don't even need to, you don't even need to work on. Like it's, it's developing on its own. And I don't know why I'm thinking about this, but you know how sourdough bread is made? You know, and like people have to start with like the, leave in the comments section. If you, I've never actually successfully made sourdough. I get as far as like the, the yeast that you need to propagate. But it's basically like that, that chemical reaction, that beautiful, how sourdough comes about. It starts with that starter, right? That yeast situation that's in the plastic bag and people like, what is, what's up with that? Why do people like give each other those starters? Anyway, but yeah, so you don't have to worry about a lot of the magic, the alchemy, um, the developing that is going on. It's like have faith, please have fit patience though. And really just by balancing, focusing on balance right now, that's all you have to do in order to get that that um, development going. Love reading for our cancers. Somebody was really controlling and you're thinking about leaving them. Think about leaving a situation. Um, you know, there might have been 
good days, bad days, whatever this control freak is, it's up and down. There's a tower card. Something happened that rattled things up, a shake up that you couldn't have changed if had you wanted to. It doesn't matter. You know, it's like it was out of your hands. And I don't think this is a totally bad person. Let's get some more clarity on our emperor card that flew out kind of sideways. I feel that this is somebody, you or somebody else, but somebody who has some off days. When they have their off days, they get kind of way too controlling. This could be Aries energy. It's not that they're not working on themselves. It's not that they're not working hard on the relationship. You or somebody else, whoever this is. But we got the eight of, of um, I wonder if they're trying to, if there's a discipline, if there's something they're trying to work through on their own and it's coming out. You know, it's kind of like when you, when you quit something you're addicted to or when you're working through something really hard, it doesn't always look very pretty on the outside. Like there's almost withdrawals. Uh-huh. So. Keeping an open mind. You know, I'm not going to take those. That's too much. I think I'm, I'm think I'm done with this deck. I don't, it doesn't, it's, it feels like it's given me all it's going to give me. I'm going to get another one. For my cancers and love. What's this eight of, so somebody's le leaving us something behind. We've got temperance out again with another card. And it's like they spent at one point a lot of time cultivating this thing. They spent a lot of time really caring for these cups and now they're turning their back. They'd rather just go towards the unknown and have faith in what's lying ahead in those hills, basically searching for greener pastures. Um, and that's because <laughs> there has been a change of heart. There has been, I think that there's an offer coming through for this individual. This is you or somebody else, but I, I feel strongly that for most of you guys, it's you. There is an offer that is expedited a sense of closing up this chapter and moving forward and going out into the world. And this would be something new completely. And it almost brings out another side of you. It's kind of like when you hang out with somebody who, how you've been with, let's say you've been hanging out with somebody who maybe appreciates your intelligence, but not your humor. And then all of a sudden you, you hang out with somebody new and all they do is just laugh at your jokes and you realize, oh yeah, I am a really funny person. I forgot about that. So it's kind of like this, this new love offer recognizes things inside of you that you really enjoy. Um, and it's expediting this change, leaving something behind. And this person could be very different from you. They could even be like in a different ethnicity. It's definitely a new world, a whole new world. And so because of that, um, it does it's it does allude to more transformation. It's like being embraced by, by maybe like a new kind of group of friends, um, traveling to a new place, uh, physically actually like traveling there to a new country or a new city, a new culture. So it's very intriguing. We have now the tower card, which is a move, a physical move under certain circumstances. But ultimately, there's a lot of aspects to the tower really just that allude to, that talk about a shakeup. So something that's out of your hands. What is this shakeup for our cancers? High Priestess Energy. We have out... Yeah, you guys, this shake up is, looks like love. This looks like being struck on the face with it. Like this is, it feels right. It feels like alignment. What felt, what you're leaving behind felt like work. And, uh, you know, you could throw, you could keep an open mind and stuff, but there's really, you couldn't do anything about that work. They needed to work on themselves. So it's like, you can't help but be just kind of, struck sideways by the potential of this love offer that's coming through. Um, 
it just feels like it's an alignment, it's balanced, there's equality to the relationship, there's equal compromise. It's just promising so much. It's a whole new world. It makes me think of that Little Mermaid song. A whole new world. Anyway, so guidance from Tarot. Anything that Tarot has to say. Um, you might even have, it seems like you may even have another person coming back from the past. I feel like for some of you guys, this is actually, this whole thing is going to be sparking the other individual in the picture and they're going to be rushing in with a lot of, um, with a lot of energy. So this, these are the two most fast moving energetic, um, people in the deck. And the Knight of Wands came out with the Five of Pentacles. That other energy, that other person, whatever it is that um, is being left behind, is going to be whoosh, kicked into gear. And they're going to move forward towards you very quickly. And so Tarot is just saying, be aware of that. Uh, be aware of uh, the illusion of options, the being swept up in illusion. Just be aware of that. Um, because we have a couple of people all of a sudden moving towards you very, very quickly. Um, so let's just, from a fresh deck, I want to see what flies out, uh, for our advice and love for our cancers. I always check to see if they're right side up because I read them if they fly out upside down. So I want to start with them right side up. Be aware of what exhausts you. Be aware of what overwhelms you. So it's just like Tarot's just saying, hey, check your barometer. Moving forward, what's inspiring you and giving you energy and what's exhausting you. It can be really flattering when there's a lot of people after you. It can be um, overwhelming too. So don't be surprised if whatever you're going through right now, you're manifesting a lot. Cancer, your whole reading feels very strong in the manifestation uh, area. And so like moths to a flame, you've got some energies coming towards you. Just check your barometer. What is giving you energy? What is taking it away? What's overwhelming you? Um, moving forward, you're going to have to make some decisions about where you place your energy. But it's all looking very exciting. Very good. Um, wishing you the best. And I'll see you for your December readings and all the uh, little weeklies in between. Check back in occasionally. Leave me comments. Say hi. Take care.